Hello everyone, welcome to Afternoon News Guys. If you're new to this channel, click the subscribe button. My name is Michael and today I will show interesting developments from around the world. Let's start with first and very interesting news. The Sun of Concord supersonic jet undergoing testing. Can you imagine making an intercontinental flight in half the time or even less of current flight times? While for some it was reality long ago. There was a supersonic jet in the last decades of the past century and early years of the current the Concorde. A turbojet powered supersonic airliner with cruising speeds of over Mach 2 that was able to cross the Atlantic from New York to London in about 3 hours, when current commercial flights take about 7 hours and a half. Unfortunately, the Concorde was retired around 2003 and we were left with subsonic speeds only. But there is good news the Sun of Concorde may soon take to the skies. The X 59 Quiet Supersonic Technology X Plane Quest, being developed by Lockheed Martin for NASA, is undergoing testing. With one huge advantage of the Concorde, a quiet sonic boom, which refers to the loud explosive noise of supersonic jets. We hope soon to have faster long haul flights. Next story is quite worrisome. Water for glasses may be sooner than thought. A recent study published in the journal Nature Geoscience is giving a gloomy picture of the world's glaciers. As there are found to have less water than previously thought, so peak water may happen sooner than anticipated for millions of people who rely on these resources for drinking, irrigation, and other daily uses. Peak water is defined as a decline in availability of water. The situation is alarming for people living around the tropical Andes in South America, as the glaciers located in this region are found to be much thinner than thought, having 27% less ice than previous estimates. Worldwide, the study found 11% less ice in the glaciers than previously thought. On the positive side, the only ones with estimates of more ice are the high mountains in Asia with 27% more, in Patagonia and the central Andes with 10% more. At the pace of current global warming, for sure many glaciers may vanish sooner in many places of the world. We all pledge to reduce carbon emissions become a reality on the set deadlines or even sooner. Last for the day but not least, huge crocodile freed from tire after almost 6 years. A 5.2 meter crocodile has been living with a tight collar of tire around its neck for almost the past 6 years in the Palo River in central Sulawesi, Indonesia. It is not clear how the tire got stuck on its neck. Some believe it was a failed attempt to trap it for whatever purpose. Conservationists and experts have been trying to free the crocodile since 2016. But each of their efforts failed. It was finally down to Tilly, a 34 years old bird seller and local resident, who eventually, after a three week rescue effort, snared the giant saltwater reptile using chicken as bait and ropes to secure and drag it to shore. With the help of dozens of local residents, due to the crocodile's heavy weight, the tire was cut away and the animal was released back into the wild. A local conservation agency has expressed its gratitude and promised clear a reward for the successful operation. Kudos to Tilly! Thanks for watching I mean, the newscast. Be sure to subscribe to always be on top of the events happening around the world. Again, I am Micah and see you in my next newscast edition.